What up everyone, it's your boy xman 87 here bringing you another Marvel Legends video and what I have for you today is the Marvel Legends Deadpool Wave Strong Guy Build-A-Figure Series Guido Carousella aka Strong Guy Action Figure Review. Before I get into everything, if you could please leave a thumbs up like rating on the video, it'll help show your support for my channel and I greatly appreciate it. Now with that said, gonna hit you with another one-two punch of the Uncanny x man E story time and then we'll take a look at the figure. Enjoy. Guido Carousella aka Strong Guy first appeared in the New Mutants issue number 29 and was created by Chris Claremont and Bill Sikovics. When Guido was a child, he was very small and nerdy having trouble in school trying to fit in, but kept constantly being tormented and bullied by others. To hide those emotions, he was excellent at telling jokes being the class clown, but wasn't able to form his comedic sense of humor to establish true friendships. He was still getting bullied and that all changed the day his mutant powers developed. While getting attacked, he snapped and fought off the bullies. Guido's mutant abilities kicked in for the first time and his arm grew to an enormous size making him stumble into a street road where he ended up getting hit by a school bus. His body absorbed the blow and rapidly grew massively in size. Guido became the bodyguard of intergalactic mutant rock star Lila Cheney. The nicely exaggerated Arsala of Sinkovics displays him towering over other characters with an abnormal physique of broad shoulders and chest so large not being able to fit through door frames and skinny legs. He carried a charming Brooklyn swag attitude and a funny whiff of hairstyle. He showed up everywhere Lila did before ending up in Muir Island with the other X-Men under the influence of the Shadow King. Shadow King was defeated and this caught the attention of Valerie Cooper who recruited Guido to join her government sanctioned team of mutants called X-Factor. At a press conference held to unveil the newly formed X-Factor team, Guido revealed his codename Strong Guy, becoming the team's muscle man. X-Factor leader Havoc found Strong Guy's jovial humor as a lame sense of comedy that rubbed him the wrong way. However, it was known in X-Factor issue number 87, under examinations, Doc Sampson psychoanalyzes the X-Factor team. This is where we learn of Strong Guy's inner struggle as his mutation leaves him in constant pain. The last thing Strong Guy wanted was to be pitied so he hides how much he suffers from his mutation by masking it with jokes. Strong Guy stays away from the spotlight by putting his teammates first, which is how he gained the utmost respect from his X-Factor teammates. Strong Guy grew a strong immediate bond and friendship with Multiple Man and Wolfsbane and is also a rival to the mutant known as Random. His best friend Multiple Man contracted the Legacy Virus and Strong Guy was heartbroken to know there's nothing he could do to save his life. At the funeral, he tried to hide his emotions but couldn't and broke down. Unfortunately, his body started taking a toll on him by absorbing huge amounts of kinetic energy on back-to-back -back missions without being able to release it. The strain became too much on his body, too much to bear and suffered a heart attack. He was revived by Forge after being kept comatose but the world he woke up to was much different from the one he knew before he went under. Jamie was alive again, X-Factor was no longer a government sanctioned team and Strong Guy lost his place in the world. He goes back to accompanying Lila Cheney in her travels in an underground fighting ring. He then gets into contact with Multiple Man who starts a detective agency called X-Factor Investigations in New York City and joins as their enforcer. And that's as far as we're gonna go because after that Marvel completely misused the character and ruined him over the years by turning him into a murderer killing the child of one of his oldest friends Wolfsbane to become the king of hell. Yeah, that happened. The happy-go-lucky strong guy was no more. For powers and abilities, strong guy possesses berserker-like superhuman strength. He can military press 50 tons under normal conditions. If a moving object contacts him with full force, he absorbs the kinetic energy and becomes stronger for a short time. He must release this energy inside him by using his strength at full power for a few seconds which will drain him of the increase. Strong Guy can only store the kinetic energy for about 90 seconds before he becomes permanently deformed from the increase in muscle mass. He one time caused such collateral damage during a fight in Washington DC, he demolished his foe against the side of the Washington Monument and turned the obelisk to rubble. He also has stamina and durability which becomes greater when his muscle tissue increases. Bullets have no effect on him but some explosives can harm him. Him. Strong Guy is nearsighted and wears corrective glasses to stay sharp. In other media, Strong Guy appears in the 90s X-Men the Animated Series. For merchandise, Strong Guy has had collectibles in the past, most notably in the 90s Toy Biz Uncanny X-Men action figure line, and now a first time in the line for Marvel Legends debuting as a Build-A-Figure for the 2020 Deadpool themed wave. Strong Guy has died twice in the comics, first time in X-Factor issue number 218 and the second time in Uncanny X-Men issue number 12. Strong Guy has appeared in a total of of 1,243 issues. So Strong Guy here is one of my most anticipated Marvel Legends of the year. He's been on my wish list for so many years as I want to complete my 90s X-Factor team and it is almost there. This bath is just 
pure massive. He's awesome. And did I say he's massive? Yeah, he is definitely strong guy. You look at the strong guy proportions here. You just get that strong guy feel and I love it. When he was first initially revealed at San Diego Comic-Con a few years ago, they definitely made some changes because the one that they revealed had a silver zipper painted right here. And then you got the silver lens. Now it's red and the feet were actually different. They were a lot flatter. This one has more bulk. So uh, definitely to help stand the figure and you know he's pretty much top heavy <laughs> anyways enough talking let's take a closer look at strong guy my god look at this head sculpt it's absolutely beautiful i love the whiff curly hair we get right there so it's painted in a white color you got his glasses there and painted in a nice metallic silver with the red lens and i like the sculpt of his expression you know you get some wrinkles there and he's laughing because, you know, he always got to keep him laughing. You know, this character loves to laugh, crack jokes to hide his pain. And, man, it this just captured beautifully here. really like the smile we get there. Uh, the teeth are painted almost in a yellow color, more than white. And it's not fully painted, so I am missing um, some paint right there along the teeth. But, you know, looking at it from afar, it's not that bad at all. It didn't bother me. Uh, his ears are super tiny. Look at that. <laughs> See the blue undershirt in there. And then you got a pop-up collar right here with some nice texture. So that is really really nice to see very good job right there all around and as i mentioned before you got the zipper it's not painted in silver they correct it to yellow because that's how it was in the comics to my knowledge but yeah man this guy has a very very broad chest and shoulders look at that then you got the big x nipple right here <laughs> and it's funny it always looked like a big button to me uh so it came out really nice the red paint you know the x red paint is really solid on mine and uh, you get some wrinkles across, you know, more sculpting uh, on the design, especially right here on his ribs. And then on his shoulders, you get the silver plate above there. So you get some nice armored bits, nice metallic silver going across the back right there. Very musculature back. And then, you know, uh, that silver plates with these nice uh, ridges. Super dope, man. The sculpt is absolutely impressive. Got the wrinkled sleeves, nice blue color, and uh, you got the wristbands right here. And they are removable, so you could pop the hands out with these and uh, remove these. They might be a little bit tight, but you know, uh, you can definitely uh, remove them, you can shift them. He's got some really fat knuckles here, man. These are new hands for sure. So the hands are sculpted very nice. Got that strong guy feel. You know, got his four pack right there. I like the torso. Yeah, that's really, really cool. And looking at the back, and if I zoom in, what I thought was really cool, there is some texture. So you see that is very subtle, but you do get some texture on the blue shirt. So that is really cool. Not on the legs, just on this torso. But uh, I thought that was very nice. So yeah, if you could see that, that's really, really cool. Yeah, again, loving the strong guy proportions. And then looking at the belt, another new piece. This guy's 100% newly sculpted. Uh, I, I don't even think I have to tell you that, but just got to say it. And uh, he's got that nice sculpting on the belt here. So nice design pattern. And it is a separate piece, so you can shift it up and down if you like. And you have uh, the strong guy legs. So man, so these are definitely going to be unique to this character. They'll probably give us uh, more strong guys down the line. You know, he did have different costumes, so I can totally see them reusing these legs uh, to make different costumes for him. And yeah. Uh, damn, this is whew, really, really nice. <laughs> Look at those gams, man. <laughs> Serious. And the rest, you know, it's in all blue. I'm just giving you a close look at this new sculpt, admiring it. Absolutely beautiful. Then you got the ankle bands in yellow. Again, separate piece. And then these are the new feet. So, man, looking good. And you got the peg holes at the bottom of the feet. Now, for this articulation segment, I'm going to be a little more articulate and not go as fast as I normally do since he's a new sculpt and I want you guys to get a good and clear view of it. So his head is on a ball joint and it only looks that far up, so you're not going to get that much, but 
is still pretty good because you can always, again, work with the torso to make him look up even further. His head can shift forward and down, so if you want him looking down on his opponents towering over them, you can. It swivel side to side, and he has a very good head tilt, so that is some great pivoting right there like that a lot and it rocks around so for a big guy he has terrific range at the shoulders so if i move it all the way up right there and this one as well look at this straight across this is really really good despite all that shoulder armor plating he has look how high he can move up that is great we don't see that you know a lot in figures that have shoulder armor bits and stuff like that another thing i want to show you that's very impressive is this did you see that? I moved the arms up and the torso right here did not separate. So I'm happy that they fixed this issue. If you don't know, the, the torso piece is two separate pieces packed in with, uh, you know, uh, other different figures. So I'm just happy that when you move the arms up, you don't get that gap. And that's one of the things that bothered me most with that Monster Venom bath. So I'm happy to report this. Anyways, his arms move down, you move them all around, you got the shoulder swivel, and you got a elbow swivel, and a single jointed elbow that moves in probably 90 degrees or a little bit less than that, but not that bad. Let me see, I could probably get a little more bend in. Um, yeah, that's as far as it'll go. You got the wrist swivel and the wrist hinge. For the diaphragm joint, he moves that far down. Not too bad, wish we got a little bit more but he has a great back range, so that is really good. And he swivels at the torso, he pivots really good, and it rocks around. His legs move that far apart, so surprisingly, you can get almost a full split with this guy, almost, but that is really good. And his legs move up that far, but if you want, you can kinda push it up a little further, and it starts, uh, you know, twisting off to the side a bit. But, you know, if you want to give him a crazy Spider-Man pose, <laughs> you know, like he's gonna, totally going to do that. Oh, man, that's funny. But, yeah, you know, uh, not bad range whatsoever right there. Being that it moves that far up, his leg also moves that far back. And this is, again, really good for a big guy. He could do a frontward split, so not bad at all. You got his upper thighs that rock around. You got the thigh swivel. Double jointed knees and oh no heel to the strong butt. No, not at all. That makes me sad. But again, can't complain. He has a good range. And his ankles move that far up. That's real good. It moves that far down. And he's got some very good ankle pivot. And there you have it. That is your strong guy. Now before I get into comparisons, let's measure this guy up. And as you can see, strong guy stands at about 7 and 3 quarters. So just a little below the 8 inch mark. Now to measure him up next to some other 7 footers in the Marvel Legends scale, here is our strong guy next to Colossus and his fellow wavemate Warpath. So strong guy 7 foot, Colossus 7 foot 5, and Warpath 7 foot 2. And as you can see the height scale has always been something uh, Hasbro has been inconsistent with. They definitely struggle with trying to nail down the character height. And now bringing Caliban into this picture, now I'm thinking that I wanted the Warpath in the Caliban body mold. That's, of course, if you want that over-exaggerated Rob Liefeld style, but I guess it all depends on artist depiction preference for you, you know? Here he is next to Jeff the Baby Landshark. Here is Strong Guy next to one of his best friends, Wolfsbane. Here he is next to his best friend, Multiple Man. And along with Multiple Man, here is our Strong Guy next to the rest of the 90s X-Factor team. All we need is one more. One more to complete this dream team of mine for Marvel Legends to make it come true. I want my X-Factor Wolfsbane so bad, and no, I refuse to put a Wolfsbane head on a Polaris body. That's such a BS cop-out, as I want her comic-accurate X-Factor look with all the fur out. A mold like that can be used for a Tigra or a Hepzibah of the Starjammers down the line. And now for my on-the-shelf segment, here is Strong Guy in my X-Men superheroes display next to his X-Factor teammates. I had to move some figures around as he was blocking some figures because he's so damn big. But seeing this X-Factor team lined up together is just a sight of beauty. And now to wrap things up, my final rating is a 10 out of 10. Total awesomeness. 
This bath is one hell of a masterpiece. I was highly anticipating this figure for the longest time and it didn't let me down. Well worth the wait and lives up to the hype for sure. I love the unique physique we get here in the sculpting and the paint job is solid throughout. The articulation is superb for a big guy and they made it work with those strong guy proportions. Only big challenge I ran into is it took me a very long time to execute a running pose because he's top heavy. Other than that, I loved posing him around and photographing him. I'm lost for words. There's not enough words in the dictionary to describe how phenomenal this bath is. I love team completions and we're just one away and I can't wait to feel that completeness. He might be my very favorite out of the wave and has a guaranteed spot in my top 10 legends of 2020. So now I kick it back to you guys. What do you guys think of this strong guy build a figure? What X Factor character would you like to see next? I know I mentioned Wolfsbane before, but I want random so bad. Comment below, let me know. That was my review. Please follow me on Instagram if you haven't already. Link is in the description below. Get your Marvel Legends Deadpool Wave Strong Guy Build a Figure series at Big Bad Toy Store. Link is in the description below. Check out my website, xmany87.com, to view my photo gallery. Hit the notification bell so you know when my videos are up. Share and subscribe if you're new. Enjoy the pics at the end of the video. See you on the next review. Peace, peace. Thank you.